Yo, it's Lux from ServerPro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to set up a basic ranks and permissions using the LuckPerms plugin. First of all, ensure that you have installed the plugins that you want and find all the permission nodes for them as well. Usually they are found either on the plugin page itself or the actual plugin wiki. For this tutorial, I'm only going to be using Essentials and Essentials Chat for the prefixes. However, the process to find the permission nodes for different plugins is nearly the same. Of course, ensure that you have LuckPerms installed as well. If you don't know how to install that or you don't know how to use it, we also have a tutorial for that, which will be linked in the description. Because we're going to be using a LuckPerms, go to the console and give yourself the LuckPerms permissions so that you can set everything up. In the console, just type LP user, then your username, then permission set, and then a lockperms dot asterisk. And that will give you all the commands for the lockperms so you can set up all the permissions and all the groups. Before we move on to the permissions, let's actually set up the groups. For this example, we're going to have five groups, which is the default group, the members group, the VIP, moderator and the owner. We already have one group as it's automatically created when you join at the server and this is the default group. Now let's manually add the other groups. To do this type slash lp create group and then the group name and then just quickly add all the groups that you need. Our member group will be for basic users who have read the rules, the vip group will be for the donators and the moderator group will be for the players who moderate the server and then finally the owner rank. It's up to you how the players join these groups or obtain these ranks. You can have a plugin that lets you click assign and then it'll change the group for you. You can have a plugin that checks the time the player spent on the server and then assigns groups with that information. It's really all up to you. Now we can add and change the prefixes for these groups. However, please know that you will only be able to see these if you have a chat manager plugin such as Essentials Chat, which I'm using here. If you do not have one, it will not show in game. To add a prefix, just type in a slash LP, group, then the group name, then meta, add prefix, then the priority number, and then the prefix surrounded by double quotes. You can use color codes too. I'm going to go ahead and add prefixes to the rest of the groups. The priority number is there so that if you have more than one prefix or inherit more than one prefix, the prefix with the highest priority number or weight, as it's also called, will be displayed. So for example, if I give the member group a higher prefix priority than the owner group, and I'm in both member and owner group, it will show the member one instead of the owner one. You can also add suffixes just by changing the add prefix part of the command to add suffix. Now, let's open the web editor and ensure that our groups inherit one another correctly. I want the members to inherit all the permissions from the default group. This means that I want all the members to have all the commands that the default group has, but without copying and pasting all the permissions into the members one from the default. So to do this, type group.default here, just like so, and now all users from the member group will have access to everything in the default group and anything extra that you put in the list here as well. Now if I add the group member in the VIP group tab here, it will make all the VIP players have the members permissions and the default permissions too. This makes it a lot easier because I don't have to add all the permissions for all the ranks. I just have to add the extra permissions that I want the higher rank to have. Now that the groups are set, let's set up the actual permissions. Since I have Essentials and Essentials Chat, I'm going to show you how to find the permission nodes for those plugins. If you do not want to install Essentials and just want to use the default bucket or Minecraft commands in game, you can use these permission nodes here. I'll leave a link to this page in the description. Now that you can still use the Spigot server type as it is a fork of craft bucket which uses these permissions. However, Spigot does have their own few permissions which are found here on this page. And again, I'll leave the link in the description. Now, let's go to the Essentials X plugin page and find the permission nodes. As you can see, they're not displayed here, so they're most likely somewhere in the wiki. Let's go into the wiki and see if they're there. 
As you can see, there's a link which leads you to the list of mission nodes for this plugin. It's a really big list because this plugin has many, many commands. So I'm only going to set up just a couple general permissions to give you an idea on how it works. So let's give our default group the help and the rules permission, and that's it. To quickly find the permissions or the commands, press Ctrl F on your keyboard and search for it here. As you can see, the permission node is essentials.help. There are more parameters, but I'm going to leave those out since I'm only interested in the general help command which will only show the players the commands that they can use. Now let's add the rules permission the same way. And as you can see, when I do slash help in game, it only shows the two commands I have permissions for. Now let me make myself a member instead of the default rank. And again, when I'm a member, when I do slash help, I see the same commands, even though I didn't add the permissions to the members group. This is because if you remember, we made the member group inherit all the permissions from the default group, meaning that we have access to all the commands they do as well. However, let's say I don't want members to have the rules command. We can just open the editor again and change this option here to false and then add this to the members group. This will make sure that the command is removed from the members group. And as you can see, even though we inherit the rules permission from the default, as a member, I can't use it since I just removed it from the actual members group and that takes priority. So now when I make myself a moderator on the server, it inherits the members group permissions. This applies to whatever the member inherits too, meaning that everything from the default group it inherits as well. However, since the members group removes the permission to view the rules, that means the moderator won't be able to do slash rules in game, but is still able to type in slash help. This is because the member can do it too. If you do however want the moderator group to use slash rules, you can either just inherit both the groups or simply add the permission to the moderator group manually. Okay, now you can go through the list and add whatever permission to whatever groups that you like. It will take some time since there are a lot of commands and permissions, but the idea behind on how it's done is the same. With Essentials X, please note that where it says Essentials Chat or Essentials Protect or anything else here on the left, it means that you'll have to have that part of the plugin installed since there are multiple ones. If you want to do more advanced permission setup using Lucky Perms, we highly recommend you read the wiki, as all the information there for you. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please ensure you check the description for any links and info before asking questions. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having any issues, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.